get ready to worship. Our service will begin shortly. The Grace UMC Membership Covenant I will protect the unity of my church by acting in love toward other members, by refusing to gossip, and by following the leaders. I will share the responsibility of my church by praying for its growth, by inviting the pre-Christians to attend, and warmly welcoming those who visit. I will serve the ministry of my church by discovering my gifts and talents, by being equipped to serve by my pastors, and developing a servant's heart. I will support the testimony of my church by attending faithfully, living a godly life, and giving regularly.
Hallelujah, Father God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat po ang Ama sa bagang ito, sa buhay at kalakasan na pinagkalog mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Humihingi po ako, Ama, ang kapatawaran sa aming mga kasalanan, sa isip, salita, o gawa. Inaanyayaan ko po, Ama, yung banal na Espiritu mo na dumaloy sa bawat buhay. Paghari ka na o oh Diyos sa aming mga buhay upang magawa namin ang iyong kalooban. Lord, sa umagang ito, aking pinataas ang United Methodist Church sa aming bansa, maging sa buong mundo, oh Lord. Ang lahat ng mga leader namin, bishop at lahat ng manggagawa nito, tinataas ko, Ama, ang kanilang buhay na patuloy mo sila pagpalain at bigyan mo po, Ama, sila ng karunungan at mas malalim na pagkaunawa sa iyong salita. Manaignawa, O Diyos, ang kapayapaan at katotohanan sa kanilang mga buhay at sa bawat desisyon o habang na kanilang gagawin ay ang kalooban mo lamang, Ama, ang manaig at maghari at ang katotohanan ang siya magbabaw sa kanilang mga buhay. Sa oras na ito, Diyos, wirahwasa po ang mga balakit o mga pagabag sa kanilang mga puso at isipan sa kanilang mga tungkulin. Alisin mo po, Ama, ito sa kanilang mga buhay at palitan po, Ama, ito na mapagpakumbaba at bigyan mo ng mas malalim pa ng karunungan upang magawa nila, Ama, ang iyong kalooban. Dalain ko rin, O Diyos, na patuloy mong pagpalain ang Grace UMC. Sumagang ito, O Diyos, itinataas ko, Ama, ang aming pastor, Edric, at ang kanyang pamilya, at ang aming Japonesa, Jane, at ang kanyang pamilya, at ang aming temple keeper, si Nestor, at ang kanyang sambahayan. Maging, O Lord, ang kabuuan ng Grace United Methodist Church ang pamilya ng Grace United Methodist Church, O Lord, abutin mo silang lahat ng mapagpalang kamay mo, O Diyos. Tinataas ko, Ama, ang lahat ng aming mga kaanip ng aming iglesia, anuman yung mga suliranin o pagsubok na pinagdaraanan sa oras na ito. Sa iyo po, Ama, pinagkakatiwala ang buhay naming lahat. At alam ko na kami ay magtatagumpay dahil sabi mo nga na hindi kami iiwan hindi mo kami bababayaan at mananatili ka sa amin habang kami nabubuhay. At kami rin, Ama, ay mananatili sa iyo at mananatiling tapat sa aming paglilingkod. Dalayin ko rin, O Diyos, na patuloy mo pagpalain ang lahat, Panginoon, ng na mga nagpositibo ng COVID-19 na to, mga viruses na to na kumakalat sa kapaligiran. Dinideklara ko sa oras na to ang kagalingan ang ikawat po sa bawat membro ng aming, ng taanip na aming iglesia. Ikaw lang po, Ama, nakababatid, nakakaalam ng kalagayan o sitwasyon ng bawat isa sa amin. Sa iyo po po, tinatagubilin ang buhay naming lahat, Panginoon. Na ang lahat, Panginoon, na may mga karamdaman, may mga suliranin sa buhay, kabigatan sa buhay na pinagdaraanan, ay abutin mo lang sila ng mapagpalang kamay mo, Ama. Adalain ko rin, O Diyos, na patuloy ng pagpalain ang lahat, Panginoon, ng aming miyembro na nawalan ng mahal sa buhay, Panginoon. Pagpalain mo po, Ama, ang kanilang buhay. Patuloy mo silang yakatin at ang kapayapaan mo, ang kaliwan mo, O Diyos, ang sumakan nito ng lahat. Tinataas ko, Panginoon, ang kanilang buhay na patuloy mo silang yakapin at patuloy naman ang palataya at magtiwala sa iyo. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, at ito na taas ko, Ama, ang aming gawain, ang aming online service sa service umagang ito na patuloy po ito pagpalain na maabot ang lahat ng mga tao sa bawat sulok ng mundo. Maging asin at ilaw ng salibutan ang Grace UMC. Gamitin mo mightily ang aming church upang maipahayag ang mga salita mo at makarating ito na maayos sa lahat ng mga tao nakikinig ng iyong mensahe at maging inspirasyon, gabay sa kanilang mga buhay sa bawat araw ang mga salita mo na kanilang tatanggapin. Pagpalaing po, Ama, 
ang aming iglesia at lahat ng kaanib na ito. ito. Lord, ganun din po, Panginoon, aking itinataas o magang ito, ang aming bansa, ang aming Pangulo at bawat sangay nito, O Diyos. Lord, bigyan mo po, Ama, ng wisdom, tarunungan, at maayos na pagsasalita ang aming Pangulong Duterte at bawat desisyon o hakbang na kanilang gagawin ay pawang kalooban mo lamang, Ama, ang siyang masunod sa kanyang buhay. Dalangin ko, Diyos, na magampanan ko ang Ama ang kanyang tungkulin bilang Pangulo ng aming pansa, Panginoon. At uh, dalangin ko, Diyos, na pagpalain mo ang kanyang buhay, bigyan mo siya ng magandang kalusugan sa bawat araw ang kanyang buhay at kasama ang kanyang sambahayan. Pagpalain mo rin po, Ama, ang lahat mga vaksin na dumating sa aming bansa na maiturok na po ito sa lahat ng mamamayan. Naway o Diyos, mga vaksin na ito, walang adverse reaction na magaganap sa bawat mamamayan na maturuman ito, Panginoon. Magpus ito'y maging protection at kagalingan sa lahat ng mga tao maturuman ito laban sa COVID-19 na ito o Diyos. Maraming maraming salamat Panginoon sa pagpapala mo sa aming bansa. Ganun din po Panginoon, aking tinataas sa umagang ito ang iyong bansang Israel. Bigyan mo Ama ng uh, mapayapa. Bigyan mo sila ng kapayapaan sa kanilang mga puso. At uh, tanging ikaw lamang o Diyos ang kanilang pagtitiwalaan. Sa oras na ito, winawasak ko Ama, ano mang panliling lang kasamaan na patuloy nilang pinagtitiwalaan o ginagawa ang Diyos. Samahan mo po, Panginoon, ang bansang ito na patuloy na magtiwala sa iyong mga salita at tanging Panginoong Heso Kristo lamang ang mataas sa kanilang mga buhay. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, at patuloy mo pagpalain ang kanilang mga buhay. Muli, Panginoon, nagpupuri, nagpapasalamat po ako ma, sa kabutiran mo sa aming mga buhay. Ang lahat ng ito ay binabalik ko sa iyo sa mga pangyayari pangalan ni Jesus na aming Panginoon at tagapagligtas ng aming buhay. Amen. Amen.
In Psalms chapter 50 verse 23 it says Whoever offers praise glorifies me and to him who orders his conduct aright I will show the salvation of God Let us pray O Father God we worship you and we believe that you have always been and always be our Lord over everything Our souls long for your courts our hearts and our flesh cry out for you, the living God. We long to know you in a deeper and more intimate way. Our souls hunger to be close enough to you to feel your heartbeat and sense your love flowing into our beings. We want to know everything there is to know about you. Fill our hearts with such great knowledge of you that praising you becomes like the air we breath. We want to show our love for you by embracing you with our worship. All glory and honor and majesty belong to you, Father God, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Sa pagbasa po ng banal na salita ng ating Panginoon na matatagpuan po sa Lumang Tipan, sa aklat po ng Deuteronomio, Kabanata Labing Isa, mga talatang walo hanggang labing dalawa, sa magandang balita Biblia. Kaya't sundin ninyo ang lahat ng utos niya na ipinapaalala ko sa inyo ngayon upang magkaroon kayo ng lakas na sakupin at ariin ang lupaing papasukin ninyo. Dahil dito, mabubuhay kayo ng matagal sa lupaing ipinangako ni Yahweh sa inyong mga ninuno at sa kanilang magiging lahi, ang lupaing mayaman at sagana sa lahat ng bagay. Ang lupaing titirhan ninyo ay hindi tulad ng lupaing iniwan ninyo sa Ehipto. Doon, ang hinahasik ninyo ay kailangang patubigan at diligin tulad ng hardin. Ngunit ang lupaing pupuntahan ninyo ay laging inuulan. Maraming burol at malawak ang mga kapatagan. Ang lupaing iyon ay palaging inaalagaan at binabantayan ng Diyos ninyong si Yahweh. 
pinagpala po tayo ng Panginoon sa pagbasa po ng kanyang banal na salita. Amen. Ang ating pong uh, pagbasa po mula po sa bagong tipan ay ating pong uh, mababasa at matatagpuan po sa pahayag labing apat, talatang anim hanggang labing dalawa mula po sa magandang balita Biblia. Ito po ang sinasabi, nakita ko rin ang isa pang anghel na lumilipad sa himpapawid, dala ang walang hanggang magandang balita upang ipahayag sa mga tao sa lupa sa lahat ng bansa, lipi, wika at bayan. Sinabi niya ng malakas, matakot kayo sa Diyos at walhatiin ninyo siya sapagkat dumating na ang oras ng kanyang paghatol. Sambahin ninyo ang Diyos na lumikha ng langit, lupa, dagat at mga bukal ng tubig. Sumunod naman ang ikalawang anghel na nagsasabi, bumagsak na, bumagsak na ang makapangyarihang Babylonia na nagpainom sa lahat ng mga bansa ng alak ng kanyang kahalayan. At sumunod sa dalawa ang ikatlong anghel na sumisigaw, sinumang sumasamba sa halimaw at sa larawan nito at nagpatatak sa kanyang noo o sa kakmay ay painumin ng Diyos ng purong alak ng kanyang puot na binuhos sa kopa ng kanyang galit. Pahihirapan sila sa apoy at asopre sa harapan ng mga banal na anghel at sa harapan ng kordero. Ang usok mula sa apoy na nagpapahirap sa kanila ay patuloy na tataas magpakailanman. Araw at gabi ay mag maghihirap ng walang pahinga ang mga sumamba sa halimaw at sa kanyang larawan at ang mga natatakan ng kanyang pangalan. Ito'y panawagan na magpakatatag ang mga hinirang ng Diyos ang mga sumusunod sa mga utos ng Diyos at nanatiling tapat kay Jesus. Mga kapatid, idagdag po ng ating mabuting Diyos ang kanyang pagpapala sa atin sa pagkabasa po ng kanyang banal na salita. Amen. Please supply my needs according to your plan. 
So help me, Lord, to see your face before I seek your hand. And trust you know what's best for me when I don't understand. Then follow in obedience in every Magandang magandang maga po sa ating lahat at uh, purihin po ang dakilang Diyos sapagkat sa araw na ito ay uh, May 2 ay atin pong ay pinagdiriwang ang uh, ating pre-anniversary. Ano po? It's, it's 59th year anniversary po ng ating iglesia ng Grace United Methodist Church. Kaya purihin po at pasalamatan po natin ang Diyos sapagkat sa umaga pong ito ay uh, meron po tayong uh, very special uh, guest speaker para po sa ating pre-anniversary. At uh, nais ko pong ipakilala po sa inyo ang ating uh, Uh, pastor na siyang magdadala ng mabuting balita po sa bawat sa atin. Siya po ay si uh, Reverend Jonah Byrne uh, Lungob. Ano po? Siya po ang uh, presently ang uh, administrative pastor po ng Abu Dhabi uh, United uh, Methodist Church ano po? sa UAE. Kaya imported po ang ating pong, uh, speaker ano po? uh, mula pa po sa Uh, UAE, kaya po rin po ang ating pong uh, Panginoon. Uh, at pang, sa pangkasalukuyan, siya po ngayon ay uh, nag-aaral din po sa Boston University ng kanyang uh, doctorate. Kaya po rin po ang Panginoon at by God's grace ay matapos po niya ang kanyang uh, pag-aaral po na ito. At uh, sa panahon po ng ating pre-anniversary ay kanya pong ibibigyan ng diin ang ating pong tema na Hear and Obey, Living the Word of God in an Everyday Word. So mga kapatid, let us welcome the Holy Spirit uh, sa panahon na ang uh, kanyang lingkod, ang Pastor uh, Jonah Byrne Lungob ay dadalhin ang kanyang mabuting balita. Para po sa bawat sa atin, let us open our hearts, our minds, and our soul as we, lit- as we listen to the word of the Lord through Reverend John Abern Lungob. Mga kafeit, mga kabayan, sa ating minamahal na iglesia ng Panginoong Yesu Kristo ang Grace United Methodist Church sa Caloocan City sa Bansang Pilipinas. Wala sa inyong mga kapatid at kabayan dito sa Abu Dhabi City, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, uh, would like to convey our heartfelt and prayerful uh, greetings on your 59th founding anniversary uh, as a church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Courageously, powerfully, through the Holy Spirit, proclaiming the good news of salvation, winning the loss, and making disciples for the glory of God. I am Pastor John Avern. Uh, thank you for inviting me uh, for the celebration of your founding anniversary as pre-anniversary uh, preacher. Uh, it's a great blessing na ako yung uh, napili nyo na magsalita 
uh, upang ipahayag ang salita ng Diyos. Uh, bago nyo ipagdiwang, uh, this coming May 9, ang inyong uh, uh, church anniversary. Samahan nyo ako sa pananalangin. Uh, let us pray. Abba, God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, speak to us your revelation. Reveal to us clearly your truth. Manifest to us your mighty presence and power of the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit inspired the prophets and the apostles. And of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the same Holy Spirit to speak to us, to illumine your word so that we can understand it clearly and give us the power to obey you. Manifest to us the presence and the power of our Lord and Savior, risen Jesus Christ, ang buhay na Panginoong Yesu Cristo. Now, Lord, encounter your whole church, Grace UMC, every son, every daughter of the living God, and even the seekers, Lord, kung mayroong mga hindi pa nakaranas ng inyong uh, saving grace, we pray for their salvation as they listen to this message. We entrust to you everything. Uh, I yield to you as your messenger. I yield my spirit to the Holy Spirit. And may you use me as your mouthpiece. Purify every one of us, even any hint of sin, by the holy blood of the Lamb of God, the only sacrifice that can cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Right now, Lord, protect us also from any distraction, from any demonic attack. Only your holy presence prevails. We ask this prayer in the name of our faithful Lord and merciful Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Sa ating uh, uh, pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos, I would like to invite everyone. This year's cel- uh, anniversary team of Grace United Methodist Church is here and obey, living the word of God in an everyday world based on John 15, 16. But we would entrust the exposition of this word to the next speaker on Sunday. You have given me the task, I believe this is from the Lord, to share to you a message about uphold and revitalize discipleship, making globally, even in the midst of the pandemic. Since that is uh, mahaba, yung binigyan yung topic, I would like to shorten it para madali nating uh, maalala. It's easy to remember. With this title, Living in the Power of the Risen Christ. Living in the Power of the Risen Christ. Based on Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. Based on the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to one of the eyewitnesses, one of his apostles named Matthew, and that is Uh, called by us Christians as Great Commission. Meron akong karanasan na gusto kong ikwento sa inyo. Uh, nung ako'y, uh, ako'y enrolled sa, sa Boston University School of Theology sa Amerika. At uh, nung mga school year 2018-2019 ay after my classes in Boston, nag-travel ako dito sa Arabian Gulf in the United Arab Emirates, uh, in uh, Qatar, and Israel, and even in Turkey, in Istanbul. And on my travel, I was invited as the 12th founding anniversary preacher in our first church established here in the United Arab Emirates, the first United Methodist Church, Dubai. Uh, that was then my second uh, na paglalakbay sa Dubai. No? And then uh, I had my previous visa as a tourist. And then the second one was processed by an agency of a, a Christian and a generous friend who sponsored my ticket. They process my visa. And then upon arrival in Dubai International Airport, nung ako'y magsubmit ng aking passport with the visa, 
Ang sabi ng immigration officer, what you have here in our data, in our system, is your old visa. You don't have new visa. I was shocked. Because, you know, if I go back to the, to the United States that day, that would be so expensive if without accomplishing the Lord's mission. And then you know, they, they sent me to the immigration office there in the airport, and I was in silence. And then, then, then the Lord stirred my heart you know? in prayer. I was in intense prayer. And the first immigration officer that I faced, I told him my dilemma that there is an error on my visa number. Just one error. And then he told me back that even isang error o pagkakamali, they cannot uh, let me in in the United Arab Emirates. So I was like, And then he told me, just sit down there and let me uh, think what to do with this. And then I, I asked I ask Favor that maybe uh, search if they really, maybe there, there's an error there and they can rectify it. And then uh, I, I followed up three times. And after, after that, they told me the visa number, the new visa number. as uh, Ronyus number. So I went back to my seat and the more I prayed and the Lord reminded me of Matthew 28, verse 18. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Ang sabi ng Pino Jesus. So I prayed to God invoking the all authority power of Jesus Christ. And this Uh, is the content of my prayer similar to this. Father God, you are the most high God, greater in power and authority than all the world leaders combined. Lord, influence the immigration officers and the Emirati immigration officers and give them wisdom what to do because Lord, if I'll go back Right away in the United States, that would be a wasting of money. So, Lord, that's their heart by the power of your influence, the influence of the Holy Spirit. After saying the prayer, I went back to the immigration desk and then asked the immigration officer again, Sir, did you see my new visa number? Then he told me, I told you it's an error. And then, right there, the Lord put in my mind what to say. Can I reapply for visa right now? But knowing that the policy between the Philippines and the United Emirates is this. No visa upon arrival. No Filipinos who are coming from the Philippines or other countries going to UAE, they should apply visa before arrival. So no visa upon arrival, right? Miracle. <laughs> When I said to the immigration officer, can I reapply for visa, sir, here? And he told me, yes, you can. Wow. And I believe it was the power of God working in through the heart of that immigration officer. But, After me, you need to go to that another immigration officer. Nung makita ko yung next immigration officer, he was wearing an army uniform. So it, it looks like the, uh, the officer who will deport me or you know, send me back to the United States. But when I went to that officer, he looks like commander. I told him that I am a student from the U.S., with the Filipino visa and U.S. visa. And I'm here in the United Arab Emirates, invited as a tourist and to speak in a Christian church. And then the, the agent who worked my visa uh, uh, has an error in putting the number of my passport, one error. And then I would like to appeal and to apply for a new visa. And then this officer told me, yes, you can. 
I thank the Lord for that. If I just lingering around and, and, and pounding and, and, and uh, murmuring, right? Surely I did, uh, I di ko sana naranasan yung kapangyarihan ng kataas-taas ang Diyos. Ng kapangyarihan ng Panginoon Yesu Kristo na sa Kanya lahat ang kapangyarihan. Pagkilos ng Banal na Espiritu, if I did not apply and believe that He is all-powerful, the all-powerful Jesus Christ, is real, mga kapatid. As, uh, as we continue on on this reflection, I pray that the Holy Spirit would speak to you clearly, powerfully, and experience, right? The all-powerful authority of our Lord Jesus Christ according to His gospel. It's in His word. It's truth, right? Uh, and uh, uh, for today's worship service, as we uh, uh, pre- were, as we are preparing for the celebration of the 59th anniversary of Grace UMC, I believe, no, uh, mightily pagpapalain na kayo ni Lord, even pre-anniversary palang, no, join me in reading this. Uh, uh, our key passage for this uh, message from the Lord. It's from uh, the gospel of our Lord Jesus according to Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. And I'm reading from the Passion Translation. That Jesus came close to them and said, all authority of the universe has been given to me. Now, wherever you go, Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to faithfully follow all that I have commanded you. And never forget that I am with you every day, even to the completion of this age. This is the word of God for the people of God, and we're blessed already by hearing it. In that great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord gives us this threefold truth, right? Number one, living in the authority of the risen Christ. In as it was in the early uh, as it was in among the early Christians, no. During that time, they were they have faced persecution and poverty. Right? Severe persecution. But how did they triumph and thrive? And their lives were victorious against poverty, persecution. No? The persecution they have encountered coming from their religious leaders, their political leaders, and even surely among their devout families who didn't receive Christ as Lord and Savior. Right? And yun yung situation nila no? mas matindi sa atin naman ngayon pandemic and poverty no so how can we survive no just like the early christians they turned the world upside down since christ defeated satan death diba? and sin and they have experienced freedom from the power of satan or darkness and the power of demon and death they have this new life in the Lord Jesus Christ coming from Yahweh Adonai, the Almighty God, the Heavenly Father, and they had the Holy Spirit among them. This passage in the scripture was communicated to them by the recent Christ. Christ was no longer on the cross when he told them this. Christ was no longer in, uh, in, on the grave. He, he, he was alive and he is alive right now. No? Kasama natin si Lord. So yung unang truth na ating ma, 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 makuha dito, ba, uh, ayon sa pangungusap ng Panginoon Jesus with this uh, living word, right? In the written word, ay, ay 
nang, nangusap ang Panginoon sa kanila na mamuhay sila sa kanyang kapangyarihan bilang buhay na Kristo. No? At sabi sa verse 18, Then Jesus came close to them and said, All authority of the universe, if this is the, the Passion Translation in the New International Version, all authority, di ba? in heaven and on earth, has been given to me. Dito naman sa The Passion Translation, pinag-isa na nila yung heaven and earth. All authority of the universe has been given to me. So, who is this Jesus? I just told you, he was no longer in Bethlehem, like a baby. He was no longer on the cross, the crucified Christ who died in our behalf, took all our sins and punishment and diseases. No? the holy, perfect sacrifice, the Lamb of God, and exchange His holiness to us sa lahat ng mga nagsisi sa kasalanan at tinanggap siyang bilang panatagapaglitos. Ibinigay niya yung kabanalan niya sa atin no? while He took upon Himself yung kasalanan, kamatayan, at parusan natin. And then this Jesus who died on the cross was the one speaking here. He was and He is alive. Lumapit siya sa kanyang mga lagat. Sabi niya, lahat ng kapangyarihan dito sa San Sinuko and San Daigdigan in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Wow. So, ano ba yung mga powers na nandito sa heaven and earth? We have, of course, the power, God has the power of creation to create. God has the power to save, no, magligtas. God has the power to heal, uh, magpagaling. And God has the power to rule, political power. And God has the power to grow resources, economic power. All those powers, spiritual, physical, right? Economic, political, and the power to save. All those good powers you know, coming from God, God the Father, no? we know Jesus before coming on earth, he was already one with the Father and the Holy Spirit, right? One God in three persons, right? And we know he humbled himself. And after his resurrection, God the Father has given to him all authority. That is the Jesus, the true Jesus that we trust and believe he has all authority, spiritual, political, economic, diba? and he, he is the highest above all leaders, spiritual and political and economic leaders. And it has been given to me. So we Christians should begin there. No? Kung pagkakamali ng maraming mga, mga ngaral at mga kristyano ay nagsisimula sila sa go to all nations. You can, we cannot go to all nations. We cannot even proclaim Christ in our family and to the, to the neighbors and to the nations if we don't have Him, no, mga kapatid. So first, be assured that the, the Jesus who gave his life for us on the cross of Calvary. It's the same Jesus who rose from the dead and it's the same Jesus who ascended on high and the same Jesus who is reigning and he has all authority. That's my Jesus. That's your Jesus. That's the Jesus of Grace United Methodist Church. That's our backup. No? So wag na kayong uh, kumutsaba sa mga, mga corrupt officials, sa mga government offices. No, don't promote corruption. No, use the power of our Lord Jesus. He has given to us. No, just like my experience in the airport. I invoke the power of all authority of our Lord Jesus to help me as his disciple, his uh, follower, na commission to share the gospel here in the UAE. No? So in this time of pandemic, This is our Lord Jesus Christ back upping us, empowering us with his all authority 
all power. Amen? Grabe. No? So, if you have the Jesus, all cowardness, all negative fears, all worries and anxieties na hindi galing sa kanya, and timidness or cowardness, mawawala. Kagaya ko, dati akong mahiyaing bata. Pero nung ako'y nagsisi sa aking kasalanan, kinasuklaw na kasalanan, at nagsuko ng boy kay Jesus Christ, ginawa ko ni Lord na matapang. Amen? No, hindi na ako takot. No, mga multo na o mga demons ang matatakot sa akin o sa iyo. If you have Jesus and you don't afraid facing high government leaders because we are ambassadors of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. No? Yeah. What I shared to you a while ago about my experience in the airport is real. No? God has had influence the minds of the immigration officers so that I can obtain new visa right there and don't waste money right, without accomplishing the preaching of God's word in the 12th founding anniversary of First UMC Dubai. Hallelujah. Puri ng Panginoon. Pangalawa, no? in this time of, in, in, the, in the days of the apostles, they were living in severe persecution. No? And they were, they were like suppressed. They were like uh, uh, intimidated. Both political leaders like Pontius Pilate, King Hero, right? Uh, and then uh, the high priest Caipas and Ananias. But they were not able to stop them. What was in the lives of the apostles? First, Kanina, the all powerful authority of our Lord Jesus Christ who commanded them. That's the source of their boldness, courage, wisdom, and strength. At ang ikalawa naman, living in the command of the risen Christ. So, there are only two kinds of people on earth. The one, who lives under the command of the deceiver, Satan, no? even those who don't believe in God, no? they believe in themselves, so they are self-deceived. So those who believe in themselves, their com- own commands, destroying their selves, or, and then they are deceived by Satan. Or living under the command of the true Lord of life, Savior of life. The recent Christ. Sabi ng Panginoon sa verses 19 and 20, Now, wherever you go, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to faithfully follow all that I have commanded you. Mga kapatid, namin natin itong salita ng Panginoon Jesus, na? Sabi ng Penesus, wherever you go, meaning from local, national to global, right? Local at home and your neighbors, national, no? neighboring provinces, cities, and the same country, international when you travel outside of your country. Gusto ni Lord, wherever we go, dahil Tayo yung mga pinatawad ni, ni Lord, tayo ginawang mga anak ng Panginoong Diyos, tayo yung pinupuspos ng kanyang kapangyarihan, tayo yung may misyon. The only good news that saves is the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ Himself, His life, death, and resurrection, and His power of reigning now has the power to save even the world's sinners. E bakit may kakaya yun? Dapat binibida yun, no? kahit saan tayo magpunta dahil nagpapagaling, di ba? nagliligtas ng buhay, inaayos niyang buhay, nagbibigay ng bagong buhay at ng walang hanggang buhay. So sabi ng Panginoon Yesus, kayong mga nakaranas ng pagliligtas na ito at pagbabagong buhay, no? ibida ninyo. <laughs> Amen. Wherever you go, at home, local, in the neighborhood, Diba? National sa sariling bansa and international. So ang mga Kristiyano, hindi lang pang local, pang local tayo, pang national, pang international. Pa saan man tayo magpunta? 
no? in the barrios, in the cities, right? And make disciples. No? So this is a verb, right? No, this is a verb. And we know the Lord Jesus' life was in prayer and prayer in action. Well, either one-on-one, -on -one, like with the Samaritan woman, para maligtas, and like a multitude feeding the 5,000. No? No, proclaiming the good news of salvation, the kingdom of God, the good news of the kingdom, forgiving sins, yun ang ginawa ni Lord, right? Casting out demons, deliverance, healing diseases, physical diseases, yan, right? and raising the dead, completo, right? Buo. No? So the Lord equips us, trains us to be disciple makers. Win them to Christ, that's evangelism, for, for them to experience His saving grace. May they see in our lives also the good news because tayo binabago ni Lord. And mentor them, no? Uh, making them follower of our Lord Jesus. At sabi ni Lord dito, all nations. Actually, yung nations dito, hindi ayon sa definition ng United Nations. Kasi geopolitical, no? ang buong Pilipinas sa United Nations record, isang bansa lang tayo. For the Lord Jesus, all nations dito ay ethnos, every tribe. No? Ang nasa heart ni Lord, every tribal group gusto niya maligtas. Ang daming tribes sa Philippines, mula Batanes hanggang Hulo, right? So all the tribes of the earth, our gusto nila walang ma-left behind bago siya dumating. Kaya I believe marami pa tayong aabutin, may mga tribo pang walang Biblia. No? At dito nga sa manaabot na natin, eh, may mga wala pang Biblia. Diba? All nations, mga kapatid. Pero magsimula tayo sa pamilya, at home, in the neighborhood, sa province, sa city, sa bansa natin. And then pag nag-travel tayo abroad, no, like those kagaya ko, we can still, wherever we go, share the good news of our Lord Jesus, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus revealed that there is one God in three persons. Tingnan yung ginamit ni Lord na, na name. It's singular. Yet he mentioned three. No? One God in three persons. Baptizing them. Here, the word baptismo is immersion, full na nilulublob sa tubig. Uh, in the United Methodist Church, pwede natin, di ba yung simbolo ng bautismo sa atin, pwede natin buhos, pwede natin wisik, pwede ilubog. Pero ang gusto ni Lord na maranasan yung buong katotohanan kung sino siya, ipakilala niya sa atin, niya, nagpapakilala niya siya sa atin as one God, the one true living God. Revealed in three persons, Father, our Creator. May dignidad tayo dahil galing sa kanyang ating buhay. The Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the only way, truth, and life going to the Father. No? Through God, through human. Tunay ng Diyos na nagkatawang tao, tunay ng tao upang tayo matubos. Siya lamang ang tagapagligtas. And the Holy Spirit. Wow. No? God did not make temples made of gold and human hands, but your human body can be dwell, the Holy Spirit can dwell inside of you. The one who is from the Holy of Holies, the Holy Spirit of the Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ, once we're saved, He dwells inside of us. At gusto ni Lord, ma-immerse tayo dun buong-buo sa katotohanan kung sino ang Diyos Ama, kung sino ang Panginoon Yesu Kristo at sino ang Banal na Espiritu upang ang buhay mo at buhay ko, kahit ikaw ay, ay sakdal at worse na mga salanan, kaya kanyang baguhin. Kagaya ni Apostle Paul, I'm the worst sinner, sabi niya. Pero alang-ala sa mga makakilala pa sa Panginoon, kinahabagan ako ni Lord. And then, yung sabi dito, teach them faithfully follow all that I have commanded you. Gusto ni Lord ay matutunan natin lahat ng mga katotohanan na kanyang itinuro. And of course, sa mga disciple makers kagaya ko, the most powerful na pagtuturo ng salita ng Diyos ay yung nakikita nila sa buhay natin. Diba? Right? No? May they see first the love and the truth and power of Jesus from us, mature believers, disciple makers, so that when we teach and preach, you know, we back up 
right? With our living example, our integrity and honesty. Yet we have still imperfections, but we're honest that we're growing in grace and in the love of God. So that when we teach them no, about faithful uh, uh, discipleship, yung tapat na pagsunod sa Panginoon, mahawaan din natin sila. All that I have commanded ko, you, sabi ng Panginoong Yesus, sa so lahat ng katuruan na galing sa Diyos, galing sa Panginoong Yesus, Christ at Banal Espiritu, we have now the entire revelation from Genesis to Revelation 66 books. Buo, mga awatid. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us to help us understand the Word of God and the community of believers like this. Kaya huwag kayong lumiban sa inyong care group or kahit online at sa pagsamba kagaya nito, right? Dahil gusto ni Lord mapulido tayo sa katuruan niya. Lahat ng katuruan niya gusto niyang maituro sa bawat isang tunay na mananampalataya. At kapag natanggap mo din yun, ituturo mo din sa iba para may mababago din ang buhay. Ang karanasan ko, I, uh, I led my father to the Lord's saving grace. The first na, na, na soul uh, uh, na akay ko kay Lord, soul winning ko, ay ang aking tatay. Na bagong buhay niya when I shared to him about God's love through Jesus Christ and salvation by grace through faith. I saw my dad weeping in tears when he repented and received Christ as Lord and Savior. At nabago ang buhay niya for three years. Dinisciple ko siya kasi ako yung UMM, in-invite nilang UMM uh, Sunday School teacher for three years. Nabago ang buhay niya. Then after three years, in-elect siyang church council officer. And then, ako naman ang ginamit ni Lord nung ang uh, aking nanay, although tumanggap na kay Lord Jesus Christ, nung nasa deathbed siya, he, she was a cancer patient. I discerned na wala pa siyang assurance of salvation. Then I shared to her about Romans 8:38 to 39 no one can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus and the Romans 8:16 the holy spirit testifies with our spirit that we are child of God and my mom like received that teaching of assurance of salvation you're not only saved by grace but you are also assured by the lord that you are his son or daughter his child so Pinagtyagaan ko ang aking nanay at tatay para maituro ang katuroan ng Panginoong Yesus. So, discipleship nga, right? At pangatlo, at ito ang panghuli, living in the presence of the risen Christ every day. Ang malaking problema sa Pilipinas ngayon, alam nyo na, maraming religyoso sa nguso, hindi kristyano sa puso. Maraming gumagamit ng reliyon, pambalot lang ng kasalanan, nagtatago, right? At uh, pinangbabalot yung gawang mabuti, di ba? sabi nila, masasave sila ng good works. Kahit ngayon, pinakamabuti mong ginawa kung walang Yesus, may bayad yan ng kasalanan, di ba? at hindi ka kayang tubusin. Kahit yung pinakamagandang reliyon sa bansa natin is not a perfect sacrifice to cleanse us from sin. There's only one holy sacrifice, and that is the Passover lamb, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he gave his life as a gift, grace for our salvation. Right? Ang gusto ni Lord ngayon, tunay na pagsisisi sa kasalanan at kapanganakang buli dahil naligtas ka by his grace. At sesilyohan ka niya ng banal espiritu. And then the Lord promised them, never forget that I am with you every day. The same Jesus who assured the early apostles or disciples of his presence is the same recent Jesus Christ right now assuring us na hindi tayo iniiwan ni Lord kayo naman at hindi tayo papabayaan. So, this truth should shape our feelings, our minds, our behavior that wherever we go, at all times, in all places, kasama natin si Lord Jesus. And this promise was and is given to those who do his great commission. Amen? Never forget. Uh, gusto ni Lord, gamutin yung memory natin. Kung mat- ma- madalas tayong nakaka-forget, no, itong buhay na Panginoong Yesus, ating buhay na Panginoong Yesus, kaya niyang pagalingin ang memory. Never forget, sabi niya. He has the power for us to remind every day, every heartbeat, every breath, habang huminga tayo, every thought, habang nag-iisip tayo, nakasama natin siya. 
hanggang sa katapusan ng uh, ng uh, generation na ito o age na ito o kasaysayan na ito o, o this time frame of God's plan until He comes again. No? Okay, re- let us wrap up. No? So, Jesus abiding press. Ano gusto ko kong ikwento sa inyo. Ang karanasan namin dito sa UAE, sa Abu Dhabi, last uh, one year na kagaya ninyo naka-survive din kami sa pandemic. No, last year, 2020, I knelt down around February before March lockdown. Lord, spare us. No, kung hindi ko kaya, Lord, na kapag may mga mamamatay sa mga kapatid and napanood ko yung nangyari sa Wuhan, I would be in severe grief. Kasi alam nyo, kapag ikaw mag-assist sa namatay na OFW, ang tinding kalungkutan yun. Tapos yung mga kamag-anak sa Pilisidil, pastor ako ng mga OFW. So sabi ko, Lord, Lord, protect your people. Lord. So the Lord's presence no, sa buhay ko, sa buhay ng ating church dito sa Abu Dhabi at iba pang nating churches. Dito sa Abu Dhabi mismo, pinangako ni Lord anak, walang mamamatay sa kanila. Katapos yung one year, I thank the Lord, no one of us here in Abu Dhabi UMC died of COVID, no one. No. And I pray, dahil kami, kami mga breadwinners, madaming tinutulungan sa Pilipinas, uh, inispire kami ni Lord. His presence gives us assurance of His uh, that you would not die until he calls you home. And if ever he calls us home, in eternity, at least, don't totally healed na tayo. No more death there, right? No more cemetery, no more sadness, no more suffering. But as long as the Lord assures us here na hindi ka pa mamamatay, hindi ka mamamatay. <laughs> no? His presence assures us of life. No? His power assure, assure, assurance of protection, assures us of his protection. No? He is all powerful, right? No, eh, bakit tayo matatakot? No? Let's let's maintain the health protocol, but above the science, meron pa tayong supernatural protection. That's why we would continue to trust and obey the Lord. Love God and love our neighbors. We continue to proclaim the good news of salvation, the great commission to win souls and make disciples. His provision, alam nyo, uh, what, what, uh, Uh, makes me uh, the more I trust the Lord and obey Him because of this three. Uh, inassure na kami, niya kami hindi kami mamamatay hanggat hindi niya kami tayo tatawagin uh, sa uh, makasama siya sa eternity. No? And inassure niya tayo ng kanyang protection. Diba? At kung may magka-COVID papagalingin niya din. At kung kukunin niya sa, sa kanya, nasa kanya pa rin. Because there is life with the Lord after life on earth. But He assures us of protection. And He assures us of He can, he can overcome poverty. In Abu Dhabi UMC, we don't have deficit until now, mga kapatid. Dahil we have faithful believers who are not hoarding, or who are not greedy, those who, whose hearts are changed by the Lord Jesus and the love of God, the love of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit ay nasa kanila at nasa atin. Hindi nila pinagkakait yung mga pagpapalang galing kay Lord. No, there's no deficit. So, that's why in the midst of pandemic, the Lord assures us that no one will die unless He calls us home and being with home in eternity, that's still life after life on earth. He assures us of His protection at kung may magka-COVID, kaya pa rin niyang pagalingin. No? No? He, he, he owns science. Nag-ooperate si Lord dahil he, he created the natural world. But He also gives us His supernatural protection and of His supernatural provision dahil wala ng greediness at hoarding sa mga puso ng mga mananampalataya. Hindi sila takot na tumulong dahil si Lord would take charge the years of the coming years kasi yung mga takot di ba yung mga nagohor dahil akala nila magugutom sila sa 2022 but the true believers would continue giving their tithes and offerings and pledges because the Lord has assured them he was faithful in the past 
He is faithful today. He assured us of his blessings in the future. He owns all the blessings and good things on earth. Amen po ba? That's why, even in the midst of pandemic, right? Christians in the power of the risen Christ, all authority na nasa Panginoon, we are back up, back up by his power. And we are commanded with the number one agenda of God, the Great Commission, right? To baptize, uh, to win souls, baptize them, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them all the teachings of our Lord Jesus. And we are embraced and assured with his ever present, abiding presence for us. No. That comes from the Lord as a gift. No? Mga kapatid, do you want to, con- to fellow believers, mga kapatid ko, no? gusto mo bang patuloy na maranasan ito? Di ba? Yung patuloy na maranasan ang kapangyarihan, all authority of our Lord Jesus Christ back up in you, right? Empowering you, enabling you. And then, hindi masasayang ang buhay mo because, right? You're living in the command of the risen Christ. Amen? Diba? Yung mga katuruan ng Panginoong Yesus, yung mabuting balita, is the only good news that has the power to save even the worst sinner. Even the whole household, like the household of Lydia and Cornelius, yung mga hindi pa mananampalataya sa bahay at pamilya ninyo, kayang-kayang iligtas ni Lord John. Amen? Do, would you say yes again to that? Gusto kang pagpalain ni Lord. And yung pangalawa, ikaw ba'y tanghinat ng lamig? Gusto ni Lord uh, i-affirm na mahal ka niya at kaya kanyang pag-alabin muli. Why not go back to your first love, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And would you reaffirm your commitment to trust and obey Him and share the good news, win the laws, and make disciples? He assures us also in Acts 1.8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When the Holy Spirit comes in us, we become the Lord's messengers or witnesses in the family, in the neighborhood, in the Philippines, and international. Local, national, international. Global and local. Wow. Would you receive that? Would you reaffirm? Right? Okay. I would like to pray for you, Mahapatid. Father God, I pray right now. For all, for all Christians, followers at Christians of the Lord Jesus Christ, right now, Lord, let them experience continuously your all authority. Your, you are all powerful. Take away the fears and anxieties and worries and let your power, your love, your peace reign in their hearts and become courageous, Lord, even using the online platform, social media, Facebook and Zoom to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, right now, I pray for special blessings upon the lukewarm and saying, Lord, magusto kong bumalik sa inyo, gusto kong mag-alab muli. Right now, Lord, i-bless mo po yung mga kapatid na ito at mag-alab muli at yung yung uh, And yung quarantine sa Pilipinas ay magagamit nila sa pagbabasa ng Biblia, pananalangin, pagpapalakas, at pag-abot sa mga pamilya nila na hindi pa nakakilala sa inyo. And right now, kung mayroong gusto magsisi sa kasalanan at kasuklaman nito, there's a good news. God the Father loves you by giving His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the only way, the truth, and the life. He died on the cross in your behalf. Perfect sacrifice. And the only sacrifice that can cleanse you, siya lang makapaglilinis sa iyo at sa akin. And pag ikaw ay nagsisi sa iyong kasalanan, natanggapin si Jesus as your Lord and Savior, lilinisin ka ni Lord ngayon din. Pagagalingin ka ni Lord ngayon din, bibigyan ka niya ng kapayapaan. At 
teselyo ang kanya ng banal espiritu. And his greatest gift is himself, the Lord Jesus Christ. May bonus ka pa, everlasting life. I-bless mo po ang kapatid na ito. Pwede kang manalangin na ito. Nagsisisi po ako sa aking kasalanan, o Diyos Ama. Patawarin niyo po ako. Lord, madumi po ako. Lord, umaamin po ako ang kasalanan. Isumisira sa akin po. Ay linisin niyo po ako. At tinatanggap ko po si Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Wala nang iba. Silyohan niyo po ang inyong anak na ito, Lord. At ipadamang niyong pagpapatawad. At simula ngayon, Lord, ipadama mong samahan mo siya. At matuklasan niya ang kanyang layunin sa buhay at mamuhay siya for your glory alone. We ask this prayer with thanksgiving in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the risen one. Amen. God bless po mga kapatid. Mga patid, uh, atin pong gawin ang uh, banal na hapunan ng ating Panginoon at dyan po sa inyong mga tahanan ay samahan po ninyo po kami upang ipagdiwang at ating ipagpasalamat ang ating Agape Meal. Nung gabi ng ating Perso Kristo ay nagkatipon sa hapagkainan kasama ang kanyang ang mga alagad, kinuha niya ang tinapay, pinagpira-piraso, nanalangin at kanyang sinabi, ito ang aking katawan na ibinibigay para sa inyo. Kumuha at kumain kayo. Gawin niyo ito sa pag-alaala sa akin. Amen. Gayun din naman, pagkatapos ng hapunan, kinuha niya ang saro ng bagong tipan at kanyang sinabi sa kanyang mga alagad, kumuha at uminom kayo. Ito ang aking dugo na ibinibigay para sa inyo. Uminom kayo bilang pag-alaala para sa akin. Mga kapatid, mga minamahal sa sambayan ng ating Panginoon, ating tanggapin at pagsalusaluhan na may kagalakan ang banal na hapunan ng Panginoon at ang inyong agape meal sa inyong mga tahanan. Tanggapin natin ang banal na hapunan ng ating Panginoon na may pagpupuri at pagpapasalamat sa kanyang ginawa sa ating mga buhay. Amen.
what we never can prove The delights of His love Until all on the altar we lay For the favor He shows And the joy He bestows Are for them who will trust and obey Trust Yan, purihin po natin ang Diyos at pasalamatan po natin ang Diyos sa uh, minsahe po ng mabuting balita na uh, ipinahayag sa ating kalagitnaan at maging mga anghamon ng mabuting balita mula po kay Pastor uh, Jonah Burns Lungob. Thank you very much Pastor Jonah Burns sa uh, iyong uh, tuloy na paglilingkod at makabahagi po namin po kayo sa aming uh, celebration ng pre-anniversary ng Grace United Methodist Church. Iba mga kapatid, tayo po ay nasa panahon ng atin pong mga panalangin. Kayo po ay malaya na lumapit po sa trono ng ating Diyos at atin pong dalhin, atin pong uh, ibigay ang ating puso sa ating Panginoon at lahat ng inyo pong mga kahiling at dalangin ay uh, malaya po tayo na dalhin natin ito sa trono ng biyaya ng ating Diyos. Pagkat sinasabi niya sa ating paglapit sa trono ng ating Diyos ay makasusumpong ang bawat isa at makakahanap ng kanyang biyaya at kanyang habag sa panahon ng ating pangailangan. Kaya kapatid, halika, ikaw ay malaya na lumapit manikluhod at patuloy dalhin ang iyong mga panalangin sa ating Diyos. Tayo manalangin, dakilang Diyos kami patuloy po na nagagalak at nagpupuri sapagkat uh, minsan pa po sa loob ng isang taon ay kayo ang aming Diyos, kayo ang aming Panginoon na sumama, gumabay sa inyong iglesia, ang Grace United Methodist Church sa kanyang pagdiriwang ng kanyang 59th year anniversary. Maraming salamat po sa mga uh, salita mo na aming tinanggap mula po sa inyong lingkod kay Pastor John Burn Lungob na magbibigay ng patuloy na siglat, kalakasan, pag-asa sa bawat sa amin at hamon upang dalhin ang mabuting balita o Diyos upang aming mapakinggan at sundin ang iyong uh, na naisin at layunin sa pang-araw-araw naming buhay lalo po sa mundo na aming ginagalawan. Kaya po Diyos, narito po ang inyong lingkod. Ang bawat isa ay malaya po na lumalapit sa kanilang mga dalangit kahilingan. At dalangin ko Diyos na kayo lamang po ang aming ama na malalapitan namin sa panahon ng aming pangailangan. At totoo Diyos na napakarami po ang pangailangan ng inyong mga anak. At ito po ay taus puso ama na kanilang inilukluhod sa inyo. At nagpapakumbaba ang aming puso, Ama. Dinggin nga po niyo, Diyos, ang panalangin at kahilingan ng inyong mga lingkod. At ang sa amin, O Diyos, ay magtiwala at manampalataya na yung sa iyong panahon, you make all times beautiful in your time. Gaano man po ang anumang uh, karanasan na pinagdaraanan ng bawat isa na inyong mga alak, manalig kami sa inyo, Panginoon. Manatili, O Diyos, ang aming pag ibig, pagtitiwala, pananampalataya po sa inyo. Tulungan mo po kami, O Diyos, sa araw-araw ng aming buhay, ng hamon ng iyong salita, ng pagdidisipulo, O Diyos, ang pag we witness ng iyong salita, pag evangelize sa mga tao. Huwag naming kalilimutan. Gawin mo ang aming buhay, ang aming tahanan na maging bahagi ang buhay po namin upang aming maabot ang aming pong mga mahal sa buhay, ang aming kapwa, at maging ang mga tao sa buong mundo upang kami makabahagi ng hindi lang pakikinig ng iyong salita kundi pagsunod ng buong buo sa iyong mga salita sa araw-araw ng aming buhay upang kami o Diyos ay maging kasangkapanan mo sa mundong ito habang kami po ay nabubuhay at may lakas na magampanan po namin ng pinakamabuti ang pinagkatiwala mong salita mo sa aming mga buhay. Dakilang Diyos, narito po ang inyong mga anak. 
Ipinataas po namin po at pinagpapasalamat ang inyong mga anak na nagdiriwang po ng kanilang kaarawan. Maraming maraming salamat po, Ama, sa panibagong biyan dagdag na taon. Gayun din ang pagpapasalamat at pagdiriwang sa anibersaryo po ng bawat mga uh, mag-asawa, Panginoon. Bigkisin mo patuloy sila, O Diyos, ng iyong pag-ibig maging ang kanilang buong sambahayan. Panginoon, salamat po sapagkat muli sa, iyo, uh, sa aming pagsambang ito ay Patuloy mo, O Diyos, na ipinapakita at pinaparanas na sa iyong presensya kami ay mayroong kaligtasan. Sa iyong presensya lamang aming Diyos, mayroong kaming kalayaan, mayroong makakahanap at makakatagpo kami, O Diyos, ng iyong pagpapatawad. Makakaranas kami, O Diyos, ng iyong patuloy, O Diyos, na pagpapagaling sa bawat isa sa amin. Salamat po. At gayon din naman sa iyong presensya, O Diyos, makasusumpong ng pagpapala. At pangailangan ang inyong mga anak. Kaya po kami o Diyos ay sama-sama na nagpupuri, nagdiriwang sa iyong presensya sapagkat kayo ang Diyos na laging ang iyong pag-ibig ay mapuno ang aming puso. At dahil ang pag-ibig mo o Diyos ay nananahan sa aming puso, yun din po ang magtulak sa amin upang ibigin po namin ang aming kapwa at mapuno kami ng iyong pag-ibig na siyang magiging dahilan upang aming maisakotoparan o Diyos ang iyong pagkatawag sa amin bilang inyong mga mabubuting mga disipulo. Maraming salamat po o Diyos, ibinabalik po namin sa inyo ang lahat ng pagpupuri at pagpapasalamat sa pangalan ni Jesus na aming Panginoon at aming tagapagligtas. Ito ang aming dalangin. Amen. Yan mga kapatid at sa sambayan ng ating Panginoon, tayo po ay uh, tumayo po lahat. Kung meron po kayong kakayahang tumayo at uh, sabay-sabay po natin natanggapin ang pagpapala po ng ating Diyos Ama. Mga minamahal sa sambayan ng ating Panginoon, pagpalain tayo ng ating Diyos na ating tagapaglikha. Pagpalain tayo ng ating Penso Kristo na siyang ating dakilang manunubos at tagapagligtas ng ating buhay. Pagpalain tayo ng banal na Espiritu na siyang ating lakas, patnubay at gabay sa ating buhay. Ang siyang ating patuloy na maranasan mula ngayon at magpakaila kailan paman sa pangalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng banal na Espiritu. Amen.
Yau nanga Amen Sagala tumatawa Haleluya Nanalabina matita Muli mong pagbisita Panginoong Jesus Yes Lord Malayang malayaka 